when you edit them from start to finish um, on Mixpad, I want to show you how to record, how to do anything. So the first thing you need, you like, you need to drag. So when you drag some, something, you just open your folder, then you drag it straight to the track where you want to drop it. Secondly, you just double click here, then you write beats. That's how you name a track. Then thirdly, that's uh, the say here. I will record my hook. You double click there, then you write hook. Then click enter. So if you want to record go and click that uh record button then it will start sensing that okay i'm about to record then click the record button to start recording so i'll click here and then i'll start rec recording and i will be doing some a little bit of a freestyle just to see you guys like you really understand what i'm doing so to, like just to show you like i can't say i'm not good on this just i'm trying to show you how to do it right okay click yeah yeah Oh yeah, yeah. When it's that you, nigga, never thought I'll make it. I'm going straight to the top, my nigga. I understand that you hate me. I'm going to the top. He's never hate nigga like me. And see his soft friend. And see his soft friend. Okay, okay, guys. Like, uh, I just did a, a little bit of a freestyle, some work shit, some yeah. Like, I just went straight and record. Let me play. It. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. When I start, you nigga never thought I'll make him going straight to the top, my nigga. I understand that you hate. Okay, guys, let me try to record a little bit of a backup. Oh, uh, that just right back up, back up. Okay, let me record again. Just click there, then you go straight to that record. Just make sure that you're starting on the right point. Then you click record. <laughs> Never thought I'll make him going straight to the top, my nigga. I understand I do that you hate me. I'm going to the top. Please never hate nigga like me. And see me soft when soft when see me soft when help me. Okay, uh, that was my second pick. First my first backup, then I'll double click again and I'll write down backup two. Backup two. And then uh you click there, then you click here to record your second backup, you know. Okay, you can go down there, you know, to make sure like you so you know guys, it's just that I want to show you like a trick when you want to pen um things you want your, your vocal you want to record two vocals but you want it to take one another on the left side and you want it to take another on the right side you need to click both record then you click record oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. when it's like you nigga never thought i'll make him going straight to the top my nigga i understand I that you hate me I'm going to the top Please never hate me like me And see it software And see it in software Okay uh, You can just click the record You click the record This is one and the same thing But I will tell you another one I push it to the right side This is the left side, right? Then I push this one to the right side Yeah 100% to the right, 100% to the left. Okay, then uh, what else I would love to do? Uh, okay, that is it. Then you can click that uh, minus padding to collapse. 
so that you can see uh, everything close okay this is what I wanted so I'll click around here so the first thing like I will do I like to take this one and push it down about negative 25 also push this one around negative 25 again okay then uh, you can okay why is doing that because okay then click on on that FX you can mute those sounds let's mute them and you can also why is doing this to me click the mute button then you can focus to the first one so uh go there so we already know like what you usually do first you go to equalizer then you go to parameter each one then push this one up you push this one up you push this one down you go to add your visual each one then just click there push that thing up a little bit it sounds like i usually push uh, very really small but i'm just just showing you like a, a rough uh, sketch of like what you usually do just uh click there you click there just take it the way to the zero because uh, right now we just recorded our vocal from stretch yeah yeah oh yeah yeah when it's that you nigga never touch i'll make him go straight to the top my nigga then you can push this one a little bit downwards you can hear like it's already if it's right that means it is clipping but i really don't care whether it's clipping or not because yeah the beat is also sounding loud and this is sounding loud but you can decrease it if you don't want it to clip and you can hear you can hear like when i'm break when i'm after like i did this i, I posted a lot of heights and there's too much of tss, tss, tss. so what i will do then before i put my compressor i'll put what's called my uh my D has a other putting it here. That's when like, I'll put my G compressor on my compressor. Like I'll try to decrease that. I'll try to push my rate to one over five or one over three. Um, leave my limiter just like that. Uh, for this one, I want the release to be very slow, but I want my attack to be very, very fast. Then I push my gain a little up. So another thing that we usually do, um, we just go there. I can see like uh, I'm still hearing uh, hearing uh, too much uh, the hairs. So I'll just put my the hairs on the on the first thing. Like uh, the tool that we'll be using for this one, just we remove our we we fix errors before we do any kind of a mastering. So you cannot like start compressing and start adding effects before like we remove like uh, the the problems on the vocals. So the reason I put the tears on first is that I want to remove those syllabings. Then I start to boost it. One after boosting it again, then I remove those syllabings again. Then uh, my G tune is not working. So I really don't know why I've been trying to do that a million times. It is not working for real. Uh, then we can. We, I usually use this, and this one is not appearing at all. Oh, it does. Um, I think it's something different. So uh, for this one, like it is uh, again another compressor. If I want to put two compressors, like I want my attack to be around here, you know, then um, my main frequency and my my, my minimum frequency, and my maximum frequency, just leave it like that. Um, another thing like I usually like to put is what else can we put we can put a lot of things like we can put a delay but I'm not sure about the, 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 the key of the beat we can put a uh, DAV Pro but I like to put DAV Pro on my backups let's um, let's open our backups so let's try to minimize this uh, and let's try to open our Backups like I, I won't put a lot of things on my backups, but uh, I think that it is a shortcut where like we can save like um, the state of uh, this like so that we don't ha 
always have to put it i think sth is like having it done that we really need to find a way to do it we need to save this data we don't have to put uh, those plugin each and every time you know like they need to show me like how we need to do that because i really cannot put those each and every day so um uh, add to group let's add those two group let's say uh one group create uh um, let's put it on a hook okay yeah i believe this is how we do it guys uh i believe this is how we do it because we effect one is on colors two we can add another track let's add not the main backup so i thought the effect will also be at the backup i believe that's why they say um I really don't know what I'm doing but I thought like what I was doing it will automatically add the FX here add to rename to delete group FX1 what is this thing doing around here I really don't know I thought like this thing will happen so that I don't add um, FX each and every time but okay just to do this thing simple like i'll just add like the avr you can do the same thing after doing it you can add a, like a telephone effect uh the effect does not have um edible parameters okay it's fine then it will automatically change your uh it will, it will automatically change the voice like to sound like on a telephone then we can add this this is just a, a, a reverb this is just telling you okay i want my, my backup to sound on the right ear more or to right sound on the left ear more so i want it to sound um on the left ear but to sound like a little bit backwards then i would love to decrease a little bit of the dumping i would love to decrease the room size i would love to decrease the dumping again here okay then um then let me play it let me just play it and hear like oh how it sounds oh <laughs> And I think I would love to decrease the volume again. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. When it's like you, when it's like you, nigga, never talk, I'll make him. Going straight to the top, my to the top, my nigga. Like it is already like doing this thing of step and go but i hope you guys already like have an idea of what i did i hope you did see like how to insert like the fx and um and everything guys like i hope you do appreciate what i did i really uh thank you for for the love let me just stop it guys then uh thank you so much for